Hey, good morning, y'all. I know it's been a long time since I posted anything. You know, uh, my last year has been really rough, as many of you know. You know, it's been a year since Sonia passed. And, uh, you know, you think in your mind that you got everything together, you know. I'm just like most other men and that you know we we shoulder things like you know and i'm i'm an emotional person i i reveal my emotion because hey what the fuck nobody's gonna stop me from crying but i i don't mind that but like any man most men will shoulder pain or adversity or what they got to go through man and keep moving even though they're there's maybe some psychological problems going on with them some you know severe depression and yeah yeah i've been going i've been going through it but it's not like it's debilitating to where i can't work and shit like that or interact with people but you go through it and all anybody listening to this could relate to it you know you know if you're about your business you definitely could relate to what i'm saying so I was thinking, I had, like a, you know, you get a little voice in your head, and it's, sometimes it's just your own voice reverberating back. But I said, man, and all for those of you that don't know, I, you know, you'll learn quick. I, I did a long time in prison. But those that know, I said to myself, man, as you know, I've been home, but certain times since I've been home in the past six years. I felt more imprisoned out here in society than I did while I was in prison. And I know people who were incarcerated could definitely understand some of what I'm saying. And a lot of it is psychological. A lot of it is social, the way things are designed. You get back out here, but so many years have passed. The technology has changed. And, you know, it's instant media, instant news, you know, you're bombarded with shit. And then everybody's talking about the shit around you when you're not on social media. And, you know, there's so many things going on. And I'm like, I, the, the, the voice in my head said, man, I feel like I'm more locked up out here than I was there. And I said, what the fuck? And I wanted to make this video <laughs> and talk to all of y'all, just kind of reveal you know that I, you know, I think that we have too many distractions, and I had cut off my Instagram and Facebook in December of twenty one, and I hadn't been on it, and I was going through my messenger because I left the messenger on just to communicate with people, you know, and uh, I started seeing little things and I see little pretty little pictures of little babies, you know, friends of mine that have had kids since then, they're little angels. I, I And I see, and I'm happy to see people doing good and I'm happy to see people smiling and loving each other. And it made me happy. So I put little hearts and things, little comment. So I said, fuck it, I, I'm gonna turn my shit back on. But the, the, the real thing here is that I, I stepped back and I did become more introspective as a result of that. I, I needed time to figure out me and where I'm going, where I'm going forward, you know, and I, I think getting off social media helped in that regard. But whatever it takes, man, this is what I'm saying to y'all, whatever it takes, man, to make you better, go for that. Cut out the distractions. Cut out the distractions. And, and, and sometimes, man, just stop and look around you and observe shit. And you'll really, really begin to see how either very good it is or how whack that like shit be whack as fuck. And you, you and you <laughs> it's crazy, man. I, I came home the one thing and discovered another. And it's like what the fuck is this? You know, when sometime when you step back and you observe things, observe your society. Observe these elected officials. Observe your friends. Observe, observe the creepy dude down the block. <laughs> you know, observe everybody, man. Pay fucking pay attention. 
But most importantly, pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to what's going on in your own mind, what you're going through. Any type of depression, any type of heartache. There's couples breaking up. There's people stressing over that. People getting divorced. Shit is traumatic. Yo, get in touch with yourself, man. No, and I'm not telling you go and smoke weed. I'm not telling you, yo, I'm, you know, I'm advocating for that because there's a whole bunch of people doing that. <coughs> Even though I do, <coughs> it has its medicinal uses, absolutely. But uh, no, I'm just smoking my weed in the morning and talking to y'all. <coughs> it's not a campaign, no. Uh, yeah, man, get in touch with yourself, man. Moving forward, man, I... That's the way for me. That's that's the only way to keep from feeling like I'm incarcerated out here. And that's a fucking hell of a thing. To 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 come to the realization that you know or, or just to have the feeling, the sensation that you're locked up yet you're free. You're free to I mean shit, I got a passport now. I could fucking travel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, I understand all of that. But I think a lot of that that feeling of oppression is uh, it's it's societal, man. It's structured that way. It's economic, you know. But get in touch with yourself, man. And and that's all. I love you. Ciao.